I think by the looks of it, you probably understand what's going on here, but just to let you know, I am going bow fishing today from the bank. You know, uh, every time I've been bow fishing, I've done it from uh, a boat standing over them like this, but I saw so many carp yesterday when I was catfishing early morning. We got up early, we're about to ride down to the lake and see if these carp are still there. Um, so I'm in a real rocky area, so I'm going to look for some sandy areas where I can fling an arrow and not uh, not destroy it. And we got a bucket mounted to the back of our bike. Um, we're building a new garden bed over here. We want to fill it with vegetables and all sorts of stuff. So we're going to put logs, sticks, mulch, grass, all that, and then throw a couple carpies in there. That way, when we fill it in with the dirt, we've got you know some nice fertilizer, natural fertilizer down there. So. Let's get to the water and see if these carp are running rampant and take a few out. I'm already seeing carp that are splashing as I'm riding by right here. It's just a little too brushy, I think. Oh yeah. There's carp right there. There's a shad spawn going on. You can see the shad up in the bushes right here. Look at him. Makes me want a bass fish. Oh yeah, there's gar, there's gar like right up there. Look at these shad. There's someone trying to eat them right here. Yeah, that's gar. Oh my god, the gar like up in the bushes. Pretty cool stuff. All right, I'm gonna get uh get my arrow knocked. Get ready. Knocked and ready to rock. So close. God, there's one right here. Tiny one. Got him. Just domed him. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. There's another one. Oh my gosh, so close. All right, where are these carpies at? Those little gar are pretty hard to hit. All right. Couple of gar, let's go see if we can find some carp. Guys, let's park it right here next to this hog wallow. It's a nice little pond right here. All right, I see some right here. Definitely a carp. It's right in a bush. I need it to come out just a little bit. Try to get a different angle on it. Oh yeah, there we go. Hit behind the tree. Give him the old hidden crouching tiger, hidden dragon. Whew. All right, I'll get the bike over here, clean these things up. Try to find a couple more though. This is fun. It's fun. Fun shooting the bow on land, 
but it's also fun just knowing I'm taking some fish out that I really do not enjoy in this lake. Just saw a tail right in here. Carp tail. Looks like there's another one right there. Here we go, here we go, here we go. There's a car. There's a big carp right here. Big carp. There we go. Got him uh, lassoed. Tell you what, that might be easier just to cut off, retie. Definitely one of the funnest bow fishing trips I've ever done. Because I'm stalking them on land. I'm like getting behind the bushes and sneaking up. You know, you gotta be real quiet. And I just, I like it a lot more than being in the boat. I think my favorite trip ever was uh, going with Flair up in Missouri and getting those some of those flying carp. We had one rod with us, it was nuts, but this right here just reminds me of stalking for deer or you know any land-based thing. It's pretty awesome. All right, I'm just gonna continue my sneak here. See if I can find any more. Oh, that's white bass. I just heard white bass busting over here. I know that sound from a mile away. Can't be shooting those with the bow. Big no-no. Oh, how do I retrieve them? Should I just shoot them again? I don't want to do that. Oh, he's still alive. Barely. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't you get away from me. The gar have mostly cleared out with the shad spawn. So we got an arrow right there. Uh, but the carp are still hanging around. So I'm gonna go try a couple more areas. Oop, I lost my bow off the rack. It's unfortunate. There's a big one right here. Guys over here, not scare the fish. I can hear him sucking. The fish got off somehow. I have no idea. spot where if I shoot an arrow I'm never gonna get it back it's just weaved I'm just waiting for it to go to either side fish just I mean it was wedged in there I just couldn't get the right angle on it finally had to crouch down aim a little bit lower and just, I swear shooting traditional bow has made me much better at this in the bucket you go house yep there's one right there
There we go. Oh, he came off. Dad gum it. Well guys, I don't know if you could see <laughs> what I had to do. I had to sneak through this brush. And then I had to clear some brush to get a clean shot. And then we made a clean shot, but I just blew right through the fish, I guess. It was so close. He got off. This is literally like stalking pigs. It's a lot of fun. Highly recommend. This might be the way to go, man. I'm sure you would just get a shit ton in a boat, but fun factor, stalking them through the brush like this, it's a pretty good time. Just gotta watch out for them no-legged demon sausages. Okay, <clears throat> new spot. Just spotted a, uh, a big one at the water's edge. Just kind of riding through. There's a big dead gar. There's some rocks right here. <clears throat> Here's some activity over here. Let's see if we can get a couple more of these babies. Oh, I just heard a carp. Looks very snaky. Oh yeah, big carp spotted right here. Just gotta be careful not to hit the rocks. See you, buddy. I domed you. Your mind. Be quiet, don't disturb the others. We'll take them too. Oh, God. oh, there was one right there. I missed him. I hear him sucking right in here. There's one. saw me. There's another one right here. There's two of them, three of them. Big one. Come here, buddy. Oh, he got off. Man, there was a bunch. There was a bunch right there. It was like five. Just sucking. Can't believe I missed that one. Holy cow. There's another carp. Oh my gosh. Did I miss again? Oh, and I stuck it in a root. Oh, I see you, buddy. I see you sucking. Move to the right a little bit, or I'll shoot you through that tree. Gotch. Oh my gosh, he come off. What the heck? 
got some flesh with him though. Know that he's probably not gonna make it. Oh, we shot his sack off, guys. We shot his daggum sack off. There's a little shad from the shad spawn. Got spawned up. Uh, I think what's happening here is my my uh, my little sticker barb here has gotten stuck. It's gotten stuck in the down position. And I need to bend it out, but I don't have any pliers with me. <clears throat> so I'm going through and then it's coming out. Stalking one. Come back. Here you go. Come on back. Oh, he got off too. Yep, that barb's just not holding. Looks like it should. Oh, well, I just need to widen it out. So what's happened is it's passed through so many times, it's like <clears throat> wedged itself down. It may retire it for the day. Go back and fix this thing. This is awesome, guys. I'm gonna try one more, one more little sector. See if I can pop a big one, and then we'll get on the bike and head in. I see you, sir. I see a bunch of you. I actually think I missed that time. Missed to the right. Well, boys, that was a lot of fun. Mission accomplished. Wanted to go out there and poke some carp and, and a couple gar, and I did, but mainly the carp, because I think that, um, you know, them just being up shallow, inadvertently even eating bass eggs in my home lake, I don't want that. I don't want that in any lake, quite honestly, and I've fished so many lakes over the past few years where there's not a shred of grass. There's no way you're gonna get grass to grow because the carp are just, there's just so many, so many. And even if it's not a grass carp that technically eats grass, it's still gonna be picking at the vegetation, trying to get invertebrates and killing the grass. Uh, that's a lot of times what you see these common carp, carp and buffalo up in, the, up in the bushes and they're they're grabbing little bugs and stuff, but they're also killing the bushes. I bow fished out of a boat a handful of times, but doing it from land was so much fun, guys. Uh, bike was nice it was nice and helpful where I could like cruise around but just getting off and sneaking around getting around the bushes I mean it, it had that feel of like stalking pigs you know except they didn't have teeth and couldn't run very fast but still got that same kind of feel so a lot of fun which one is this the diamond edge sonar pretty good little bow pretty nice nice little package and I put like an old this is little bottle I had from years ago. Probably need to get a new one, upgrade some stuff, but the boat itself is pretty good. So I'm putting a bunch of big dead logs and things like that. We'll put mulch, grass, all that stuff, and then I'll throw a couple of these carp in there. Natural fertilizer. Okay, then put the topsoil, topsoil on, veggies, growing out of the carp nutrients, circle of life. Circle of life. That's how we do it here at the treehouse. You guys know what to do. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you on the next one.